Hello everybody, this is Samuel Peralta with another coding interview preparation video for you and this time I'm going to show you how to solve the binary tree zigzag level order traversal. So given a binary tree, return the zigzag level order traversal of its nodes values, that is from left to right, then right to left for the next level and alternate between. So for example, they give you this tree here and first you have to uh, return this. So 3, then 29, and then 15, 7 as you can see here. So first you go from left to right, then right to left, then left to right. So how can you solve this problem? Well, one way to do it, there are several ways to solve this problem, but the one that I prefer, or the one that I like, is uh, using two stacks. One stack is for the order left to right, and the other stack is for the order right to left. So I can use iteration and those two stacks in order to um, as I push the nodes from left to right, I I use the second stack to have the order right to left. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. So I need to return a list of list of integer. The result is a new array list. So here I'm using my diamond notation. So if the tree is empty, I return the result. And at the end, I also have to return the result. So I'm going to have two stacks, as I said before. So stack of pointer to node S1. So this one is going to be for left to right. I also need another one s2 because the value new stack and this one is going to be for the order right to left okay so in the tree initially the first node that we process is the root so we're going to start we're going to say that the root is from left to right and then this one is going to be right to left so, because S1 is left to right, I'm going to push the root to S1. S1 to push the root. As you know, the stack is LIFO, so the last thing is the first out. So I'm going to say while not S1 that is empty or not S2 that is empty. So, this means that if I if I have something to process from left to right or if I have something to process from right to left I want to iterate I want to add those to, re to the results <clears throat> so and I also need a list of a list of integer list a new array list of integer. As you know, I'm using polymorphism here because I have the the list um, uh, which is not an array list, but th that way is better for me. So what I want to do every iteration is check if I have something from left to right to add. So I'm gonna say while not s1 that is empty. I want to pop a node M from S1, then I want to add it to the list, and after I add it to the list, then <clears throat> I want to check, um, because right now I'm doing left to right, but as I pop a node from, from the first stack, I want to push the next level to the second stack and I want to push it um, in the right order it's, it has to be right to left so I have to check if and that left is not equal to no then instead of pushing to S1 I need to push to the second stack right to left so S2 that push and that and that left also if the right is pointing to something then 
as to the push and the right. So this here is very important because first you want to push the left and then you want to push the right because when you pop from the second stack the right is going to be at the top so you're going to get the order that you want you're going to get right and then left so this is important here so then I want to do the following I want to check if if the list is not empty then I want to I want to add this level. I want to add it to the final results. So results that add new array list of the list. And here I'm making a deep copy of the list because this is a reference. This is a pointer. So I don't want to just pass the reference to this uh, results. I want to make a new copy every level has its own copy and then list that clear I want to clear the the temporary list because now I want to process from right to left so s2 is from right to left so while not s2 that is empty then I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna pop a note and so from S2 is pop. Then list that add and that value. So what I'm doing is that now I'm I'm processing the nodes from the next level from right to left. And when I do this, I also wanna check. I wanna I wanna make sure that I push the next level from left to right. So in this case, because this is a stack, I want to push to S1, which is left to right. And I want to push it first the right and then the left, because that way the left is going to be at the top and I'm going to get the, the, the order for the next level the way I want it. So if and the right is not equal to no, so that means that if there's something on the right, then S1, I want to push to S1, that push and the right. If and that left is not equal to no, then it's one that push and that left. So the next level is gonna be left to right because right is gonna be at the bottom and left is gonna be at the top. And then I check if not list that is empty, then if I have a level here, I want to add it to the final result, making a deep copy, a deep copy. I don't want to do a shallow copy. And I want to clear the, the, this level because I might have a next level to process in the next iteration. So I always want to clear this level. And this should do it. Now, let's see. Let's test, run the code. Okay, it seems to be alright. Let me submit it. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, this is working perfectly. Um, this is using two stacks, the zigzag level order traversal. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Please uh, press like. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, keep making progress. Uh, so see you next time. Thank you.